in this tutorial I wanted to give you a quick tip on how to make your dialog boxes a little bit more convenient for your users. Now I'm actually talking about the dialog boxes you might use in your editor. So for instance if you have a build and every time they press create build it asks them do you want to create an installer for this build? If it asks them every single time and every single time they press yes they want to create the installer that's inefficient. You're bringing up a dialog box that just doesn't need to be there. So we're going to add an extra option in there that says are you sure you want to create an installer? Yes, I do. Then I'm not going to ask you again. Now for that, we're going to do it in a more of a comical way. We've got Quacks here and we've got a couple of buttons on Quacks' editor, which kills Quacks and revives Quacks. But what I want to do is when I kill Quacks, I actually want to ask the user, are you sure you want to kill this poor defenseless duck? So let's jump into our editor and we've got very straightforward here. We've got a duck class and that's the mono behavior that Quacks uses. And we ask, is the duck dead? If it's not, then show the revive button, otherwise show the kill button. And this only runs when our application is playing. Now what we'll do is we'll come in and we'll say if editor utility dot display dialog. And if you've ever wondered how you display a dialog in your tools, this is the way to do it. We put in a title and this title is just going to be kill quacks and we want to make sure that they know what's happening poor quacks are you sure and then what we would usually do here is we would say give two options the positive and the negative so yes i want to kill quacks then great this line of code will run otherwise cancel and we forget about the whole thing but what we want to do is we want to add another option in here. And what we can do is we can bring in dialog opt out decision type. And this basically next time this dialog box comes up, if this flag is set to true, it won't show this dialog. And we can either do that in two ways for this machine or for this session. So if they never want to have this come up, if it's an option that's always going to be the same every time they use Unity, it's for this machine. Otherwise, it's for this session. And I usually use for this session. Otherwise, I like to have an option elsewhere in the editor that enables you to reset these actual options. And you can do that in the preferences. So once you've done that, you need to store how that is going to be held. So what's the parameter name of this particular dialog box for this session? And we're just going to call it killing quacks. So that will be in the background and you can change that with session state if you so please. So if we save that, what does it look like? We'll jump back into Unity. And once Unity pops back up, there we go. OK, so we press play. And this time, if we kill Quacks, we actually get a dialog box come up and everything's paused. Poor Quacks, are you sure? We can choose yes, yes, and do not show me this message again for this session. And that's what that dialog opt out decision type is for, or cancel. So if I press yes, poor Quacks will die. But if I bring him back to life, if I now, pre now I pressed it again, you can see it's still coming up, but I'm gonna press this do not show me this message for any other session again. And there we go. Cracks is dead. Now, if I revive him and press kill, it kills straight away. I don't get that dialogue back up again.